Hey, I'm trying to understand your question, Dave. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit of a loaded question. ShireSociety.com Chief, is that you? Dave, is that you? Yes, it is. What, were you just thinking that no one was going to read your grant application? Is that the reason you put all that libelous stuff in it? Hang on. I, I'm trying to understand your question, Dave. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit of a loaded question. It is. So, I'm not, I'm not sure what you're asking. Well, oh, by the did way, you think that, did you think that average people weren't going to read it? I mean, did you think it was just Homeland Security type people that were going to read that thing? I'm not sure I understand your question, Dave. I would understand it if I were you. Well, you're not me. What were you going to add? Are you considering maybe uh, shelving the application so that the council doesn't have to vote tonight on it? Absolutely not. Really? Couldn't convince you, huh? There's no other option. Well, that we can here's of. here's the here's my answer to that, and that's a, thank you for that question for that. Um, for that reasonable, understandable question. Uh, when my officers are, are asked to respond to uh, some of the most lethal situations in police work, I want to make sure that they go home at the end of the day. And that means giving them the best protection against uh, lethal force that, that may be used, whether it's uh, people in mental health crisis, or uh, a domestic situation that's gone completely out of control, or some other problem, and um, in the protection of our citizens. I mean, that those two things I take very seriously. Would you um, consider a dialogue with uh, members of the Free State Project, um, since obviously there's been, you know, such a rift uh, because of this particular issue? I'm, I've had several people reach out to me in the last several weeks and ask to meet with me. I've had coffee with individuals. I take the time to meet with anybody who wants to meet with me. Um, you know, some things were taken out of context and despite some, some language that has been cleaned up from a perspective of context, uh, they continue to, uh, certain individuals continue to perpetuate uh, mis-messaging. Uh, but to the extent that they want to talk about it and discuss it and get my ideas, uh, you know, my idea is to be completely transparent about this and, and straightforward. I think my message has been pretty clear in the media. I've not shied away from any questions that people have asked me in terms of this, of this process. So. You're, still, you're still standing in front of me after two minutes. That's a start. Dave, I like you. <laughs> I'm glad I somebody does. I was a little surprised that you put out an invitation to go to National Night Out, and you yourself didn't show up. I was looking forward to seeing you there and talking with you that night. Oh, I would have loved to, but I don't well, remember putting it out. <laughs> well, there was your invitation on the internet. I invited you? <laughs> no, but you invited other folks to, to talk about the issue of, of the Bearcats. Well, now, speaking of issues, I had one of your police uh, officers come up to me and tell me that I could not record him on the sidewalk, on a public sidewalk. Are you supporting your officers doing that kind of thing? Dave. I have a face for radio, but I don't mind being videotaped, okay? So if uh, you want to videotape me, you, I hope you have a love, an, enough, uh, enough space on your camera. Well, yeah, I'm glad you're not trying to stop me, but one of your officers did. Now, this is a few years ago before Delaney's uh, note, but uh, are you guys in compliance with Delaney's note now, or are you still stopping people from audio recording? Again, I, I, don't, I don't understand the context of your question, Dave. But, uh, well, are you familiar? Do you have any others you'd like to ask me? Or? Well, I... Personally, I don't think that you um, actually believe that uh, the Free State Project members are a threat. I truly believe it was a mistake. But I truly feel that, um, I, and I think you sort of apologize, but I think that there could be a little sure. bit more of it, and including the council. Uh, to again. What's your name, by the way? Charles. Charles, I'm John. Yeah. I, I put in a call. Nice to meet you. Well, see, here's the thing. I, that, that paragraph, again, the words were taken out of context. And, and, the, and the challenges that I was indicating, and uh, whether or not I should have written certain organizations there, clearly uh, the, the, uh, the take on that was out of context and misunderstood. What I was trying to say in a very limited space 
is that uh, police, local police, we've been in the capital city, there are a variety of situations where um, the messaging becomes polarizing. And there are certain individuals in the community who may align themselves with otherwise law-abiding people, but attach their message to that group. They themselves may be uh, inclined to behaviors that are criminal and, uh, and a threat to the community. We have seen that. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. He didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.